Israel, I was reading Bible stories my whole life as a committed Christian. And all of a sudden, I had a life-changing experience. I went to see a Galilee. I'm like, oh my goodness, this is not a fairy tale. That's where Jesus walked on water. I went to the old city. I said, that's where Christ our Lord rose from the dead. I went to the Garden of Gethsemane. I said, that's where Christ our Lord was betrayed. I went to Hebron. I said, that's the hall of the patriarchs where I can see Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. It demythologized the Bible for me. And it convicted Yes, sir. Welcome back to my channel, guys. It's Clinton White. As you guys already know. So, I'm checking out another Charlie Cakes um, debate, something like that. This is um, part of the Leaf Frito um, series that he did. Something like a couple of months ago or something like that. Uh, so, this one was the justification for supporting Israel. Well, actually, there's a lot of it, like. A whole lot of justification like bro as long as you're a christian you have to just support it. in my own opinion like just have to but like that like the um you know like the whole center the center of everything christianity yeah so guys let's let's get into it Hey, Charlie. Um, I, I'm Sam. I've been here for, Hi, I've Sam. been with TVUSA for a couple of years, Processing. and I've been okay. paying attention to most of your stances on stuff. I agree with 90% of them, similar to another guy before me, except one. And that particular stance... I guess it's Israel. Yes, it is Israel. Yeah. You're right. How do I know? Oh, I don't know. How, who could have possibly told you? Anyway, that being said... I don't, you're, you're, I, I just guess. I, ah, know, yes. You're, you're, yeah. Yes, that is true. But anyway, that being said, I just want to know, like... Uh, you're, you're, you're a Christian. You are my fellow brother in the Lord. Um, okay. I'm just wondering, what is, what is the justification for supporting Israel when we can see them, we can see them persecuting Christians in their own land? Okay, so you're coming after this in, in good faith. I want to know, uh, just curious, what is your, are you Catholic, are you Protestant, are you? I am not of a denomination. Okay, are you, but you are Christian. Yes. Okay, cool. Um, I, I figured by the Christ is King shirt. Can, can you add more specificity by what you mean, uh, treating Christians poorly? Can, yeah, can you tell yeah, wanna, me wanna, what you mean? Usually it's sort of, usually it's abuse, like being, being spit on when they're, when they're out in public, et cetera, et cetera, things like that. So yeah, so I mean, I, like that. The, the spitting is a real thing by certain very radical Hasidic sects. Have you ever been to Israel? No, I'm okay. just, I'm just so curious. Let me just contribute this as a fellow okay, brother in Christ. When we as Christians go to Israel, we are celebrated and treated like the most amazing you could ever imagine, okay? So I, I, I'm positive that there are radical, you know, um, Hasidic sects that yeah, guys, believe actually, certain things. My, my, own, my own opinion, I should be nice. You shouldn't always like. See, he just came up and, and, and just said something like, "Okay, they are spitting on Christians in Israel," and then he was asked if he's um uh, if he's been to Israel before. He said no. What you do, do not believe everything you see on the internet. You have to actually be in a place to experience it. Some people just you know just make up their mind. Just maybe like stuff like stereotyping a particular uh, group of people. You've not even been there. Like, how? Why? Why? Why do you judge people based on what you hear, not not based on what what you've seen? Like, that's messed up, guys. Things as you know are written in parts of the Talmud where they have you know anti-Christian beliefs. That is not my experience with mainline you know Israeli belief or mainline Judaism. Okay. Um, and I will say this: Why do I like Israel so much? I'm biased because Israel changed my life. When I went to Israel, I was reading Bible stories my whole life as a committed Christian. And all of a sudden, I had a life-changing experience. I went to see a Galilee. I'm like, oh my goodness, this is not a fairy tale. <laughs> that's where Jesus walked on water. Yeah. I went to the old city. I said, that's where Christ our Lord rose from the dead. Exactly. I went to the Garden of Gethsemane. That I said, that's exactly where Christ our Lord was betrayed. Israel, like, I went to Hebron. I said, that's the hall of the patriarchs where I can see Christianity. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. It demythologized the Bible for me. And yeah. it convicted me in the clearest possible terms yeah. that the Bible is real, exactly. the Bible is true, exactly. and it showed, me, it, it made it come to life for me. And I, I love your heart. I don't want to see any Christians treated poorly. For the record, I tweeted out against the Israeli government when they bombed a church in Gaza. You can look at it. It's very public. I do not put up with the 
uh, persecution of holy sites, and I, yeah, I stand up for my religion. But I will say this, that I've always been treated very decently and very well when I went to Israel, and access to my holy sites and access to the archaeological truth of the Bible is something that I believe is not just a good for America, but for the world. Yeah, and the world. being able to prove that the Bible is true, be able to see that the little coins of King Hezekiah, to be able to go to Mount Carmel and see like, oh my goodness, that's where Elijah threw it down with King Ahab. To be able to go to Mount Sinai and say that is where God delivered the greatest moral app you know, in human history, the Decalogue, right, that the Western civilization is built upon. So we might not agree on everything. That's why I have the heart for Israel. It changed my life, and I encourage you to go and visit and see it for yourself. God bless. Thank you. God bless exactly, you. Thank you. Yeah, he's, 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 he's 100% right. You know, Israel has everything that makes um, Christianity real, besides the um, things, that, things that tell the stories to be real, things that bring the stories to life. You know, when you read, when you read, when you read the Bible, you get to experience it in reality in Israel. So, like, those side, those ancient um, so they are all just like basically on um, the foundation of Christianity and everything. Amazing, guys. You know what to think about the video down in the comment section. See you guys in the next one. Peace on two.